Greetings and welcome to the arcade. This is episode 22. Today we will be reviving a Pac Man PCB by installing a 2 bit score ABC kit. We will also be doing a bit of a review of the Pac Man with this kit installed. So let's get started. All right, everybody, we are going to see if we can get our Pac-Man up and running. And this is the Pac-Man logic board here, PCB. I want you to take a look at the, look at this tag on the board. It says Pac-Man, spelled P-A-C-K, man, M-A-N. So this is very strange. Um, I know Pac-Man was actually Puck-Man in Japan, and when it came over here, it became Pac-Man. Um, what I'm going to do today with this board is I am actually going to install an ABC kit that will actually let me play Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and a variety of other variations of Pac-Man on this board. And hopefully the ABC kit will replace or will repair this board. So let's have a look at the ABC kit. All right, everybody. Let's take a look at the ABC kit itself. You get this from 2bitscore.com. They have a lot of Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and Galaga items there on the website. So basically you get a little um, EEPROM remover tool. And basically this is what the kit looks like. You have a couple of daughter boards that actually connect to the main PCB. We have installed the Super ABC kit on the Pac-Man PCB. We added a couple uh, data cards at specific locations that actually replace the character ROMs and some of the EEPROMs. So um, this is what it looks like. Now we are going to do a little test and see if this actually works. All right, everybody, I've got my assistant, Owen. Owen. Owen, let's go check out the Pac-Man. Let's see if it worked. So I've got my assistant, Owen. And we are going to go check out the Pac-Man and, and see if it worked. Let's check it out, Owen. Let's go around the corner. So basically, everybody, this is, this is the ABC kit from 2-Bit Score. We have it installed. We have a successful... Pac-Man now. We uh, repaired a broken board by installing the ABC kit, and this is Pac-Man. Pretty excited about that, Owen. What do you think? Check it out. And if you haven't noticed, this little monitor here is a 9-inch monitor that I use for testing games, and I got it from my very good friend John Wirtz um, from Arcade Dreams. So we have a very nice Pac-Man and we are going to piece this thing together and play the games. All right, everybody. This is my Pac-Man put back together. It's actually in really nice shape. I got a couple of things to tweak on it. I'm going to add new T molding. I need to actually get the marquee light fixed. Um, I want to put on a new control panel overlay. This one's not bad, but the paint's worn, and I want to get some new buttons. All right, everybody. We've got the game put back together. We actually have a really nice Vision Pro monitor in the game. Um, I had it, actually, it was in my Defender at one time, and my Defender is was damaged and we had to part the game out, but I had a really great monitor. So let's take a look at the ABC kit now that we've got it all fired up. As you can see, there is a lot of options here. We've got Pac-Man, slow and fast. We've got Miss Pac-Man, slow and fast. Pac-Attack, slow, fast. Miss Pac-Attack, slow and fast. Pac-Man Plus, Miss Pac-Man After Dark, 
Ultra Pac-Man and Piranha. The, the, for me, what I really wanted to achieve was to get the Pac-Man and the Miss Pac-Man on the game. So I've already got a credit in there, and I thought I'd show you Pac-Man at the fast pace. I like the I like the speed up chip. So as you can see, everything's the original. But right here, the difference with this and the some of the uh, multi boards is this game really doesn't give you the option for a button to speed up or slow down Pac-Man. But it's all right. I actually kind of like the um, the pace of this without having the button. This is a really great um, upgrade. Another benefit of the upgrade, it, it actually keeps the top, there's a high score save and a high score table. The only knock on the table itself is that the high score table is actually for the games across the board, and that's not for individual games, so. And the attract mode does all of the games that are on the ROMs, which is the games that I had mentioned it before. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and coin up the game. Oops. That I just rebooted the game by hitting the test button. So my bad. Let's uh, let's go ahead and play Miss Pac-Man in the fast mode. Okay, I'm not too sure why it does this. Every now and then it'll there's a little goof on the color scheme on the very first coin up. But as you can see, once I get my clear the screen or get a pers or one of the Miss Pac-Mans killed, it goes back to the regular color scheme. I'm not too sure why it does that. But here you go. You got a little Miss Pac-Man action. Everybody, now we're going to take a look at Pac-Man Plus and see what the Pac-Man Plus looks like. I think the Pac-Man Plus was a a ROM a, a ROM edition that or a, a ROM swap that I think people with Pac-Mans had. It's a little variation of Pac-Man. There's a couple of different things in there, like a Coke can. It's one of the fruits, and there's a different play on the power pellets or if you get the power pellets I don't I really don't know what the heck the um, the idea of the the ghosts with the flags on top the green little looks like leaves uh, I don't usually play this one a lot usually and this is something different when you get the item in the middle, the fruit or the can, it actually does something to the character. So this is a little different variation on the game gameplay. So, All right. All right, everybody. The uh, last thing I want to show you is Piranha. Ooh. Ooh that's not, that's weird. So basically, there's just a ton of dots and it's very uh, open. There's no real maze to this. Something different. Um, I'll have to give this one a try to see what the big deal is here. Oh. Very similar to Pac-Man. It's one of the variations, but I don't know what happens when you get the... Hmm. Sound effects are pretty cool. Different. I really don't know what that house is. Looks like you can go... Looks like instead of left and right, you can go down to get to the top of the screen. I 
like the sound effects, I can tell you that. Okay. really don't know if Piranha was a ROM hack at one point. It was just something they cooked up for this ABC kit. I really don't know. Different. Something different. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Arcade Hollywood. Special thanks goes out to my good friend Kyle for the ABC kit. Once again, wanted to give a shout out to my good friend Mike Miller and his band Origami for providing me with all the excellent music for this channel. You can check out Origami at origami.tumblr.com. Coming soon to Arcade Hollywood, we will have the all access tour of the Place Retro Arcade with Carrie Chaney. We will also debut the movie trailer for the Kong Off 4. And we will begin the restoration process on Atari's Gravatar. We have a very big summer planned, so this is a wonderful time to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget, you can check me out on Twitter, Arcade Hollywood at Hollywood Arcade. We are also out there on Facebook and Google+. Email me with any comments or questions at discohollywood1 at gmail.com. All right, this does it for another episode of Arcade Hollywood. Until next time, rock on. <laughs>